Hi, welcome to another video on our PHP shopping app. In this video, I'm going to show you how I arrived at the table formatting. At the last video, I left you with a pretty ugly looking table. And so everything I did here was pretty much done with the bootstrap formatting. So I'll just take you through quickly and what I looked at, and then I'll let you adapt it. Of course, your preferences will be different than mine on table design. First of all, let's talk about the entire table and the color scheme. You can see that I have hovering, different shading, I have a header that is green. So let's go to Bootstrap, and I'm looking at the section under content called Tables. And so all you have to do is when you have a table in your page, you just add the table class, and automatically you'll start to see formatting like this. Uh, you can do other options. There's Table Dark. And uh, further down the page, I did some things called striping, so table striped. So go through all of the options here. You can get borders, you can get uh, dark tables, borderless. There's tons of options, and hovered is down here as well, called table hover. And so that's how I created my table format. So that's the majority of the coloring that's going on. Secondly, let's take a look at the photos. How did I slip the photos in there instead of just the photo name? So I want to point you to one of the lines in my table where I have the product pictures going on. And so I have a folder called product pictures in my uh, project here, product pics. And so all I did is I inserted the image tag and I told it uh, fixed height is 120 in the source. And so this line here should get you an image instead of the image name. Let's talk about another thing, the uh, currency over here. You see I have dollar signs. How does dollar signs work in PHP? What you need to do is look up the item called set locale, and that will give you the information about how to format for money. So if you say set locale and then you put in uh, LC underscore monetary, then you can tell it which country you're trying to target. And so let me give you the set locale that I used for my commands. So where did I put that? Uh, up here on line 36, I said set locale for money, and I used US and this string right here. So I just had to look this up and copy and paste it from one of the reference guides. Now, once you have that set locale, then you can go into a line where you want to print money, and you say money format is a function, and then you can put get price and get price here. So that's how you print out dollar signs with two decimal points. Now, another question that will be a little bit challenging is how to create this uh, form here where we type in a number instead of just the quantity and then have an update. So the formatting is done here also through Bootstrap, and uh, it's a form. Each one of these is a small form with a, with a submit button. So let's look at the code for that. So what I did for the buttons is I have multiple lines now, as you can see highlighted here, and the form action is for another method that we're going to create in another video. It's called update quantity. And so then there's an input type, which is hidden, which will tell me the ID of what I'm trying to update. Then there's another form control with a text type, and that's value is quantity. And then finally, the button is called a submit button. Now the classes here, they have a span class, which will uh, come from Bootstrap and then a form control and a button secondary. So where did that come from? So in the section for forms on Bootstrap, you can see the formatting and the class names that will make your forms look pretty. So there's a form group and then you have a form control as a class. And so if you look in my uh, forms here, I have form control class and that gives me the pretty formatting. The button BTN, BTN secondary gives it its color. So then where did I find this uh, span class equals input group text? That also came from Bootstrap. So if you look in the section called input group, you can see different types of ways you can put a button and a text on the same line. So the, uh, the class here, or this right here, is what I was borrowing. And so you can examine all of the options in Bootstrap formatting, and you can get your own look and feel. So that pretty much covers everything that I've created for the formatting and the input form. Now, what you can see is if I try to do a three update here, I get a not found error. It says here, you don't have an input qual uh, quantity uh, method, no PHP file here, so we'll save that for our next video. 